Men coming out of the U.S. Attorney's Office after two new indictments were brought forward in the ongoing Lynn Haven corruption investigation. This time, it's former Lynn Haven City Commissioner Antonius Barnes and multimillionaire contractor and developer James Finch. News 13's Tess Rowland joins us live from the District Attorney's Office. Tess, what else can you tell us about the latest developments? Hey, good morning, Chris and Chris. I have the 69 page indictment in my hands right now, and in it also names former Lynn Haven CD Mayor Margo Anderson, as well as former city attorney Adam Albritton. Now, Barnes, Finch, Anderson and all Britain could face up to 20 years in prison for conspiracy to commit multiple types of crimes. They could also face additional charges individually for other charges as well. And the indictment says all four conspired to funnel millions of dollars to Finch's company Phoenix Construction for public projects and post hurricane Michael cleanup activities. In return, Finch allegedly gave money, trips, a motorhome and other gifts to Anderson and Barnes. Both Finch and Barnes sur surrendered into Tallahassee yesterday and appeared in federal court to hear the charges. The indictment spells out how the schemes took place through city contracts and projects like the 17th Street stormwater project and city re rebuild efforts after Hurricane Michael. They say the investigation will continue even further and more indictments and charges are anticipated. When public servants betray the trust that you have placed in them and put personal greed above their responsibility to protect you, their citizens, rest assured the FBI is going to work in lockstep with our partners to hold them accountable. At this time, Margo Anderson has maintained a a plea of not guilty, but has also been charged with making false statements to the FBI. And the trial dates for each defendant have not yet been released. And if you want to read the full indictment, you can do so on our website, mypanhandle.com. And coming up later in the show, I'll be talking more about the projects involved. For now, live in Panama City, Tess Rowland at News 13, Panhandle Strong.